To be held in total isolation From the treacherous manipulation Some way Hello and welcome to the Bayshore Hotel in Vancouver. Now this hotel, fairly obscure for most people, but it's famous for the fact that one really interesting person stayed here back in 1972, Howard Hughes. Now this actually was Howard Hughes' second last home. And how this came to be was uh, the hotel got a phone call early in uh, the morning of March 14th and it was actually made from his aircraft, so the story goes. And he said he was coming to the hotel and he needed the top four floors. And if it wasn't ready, he's going to buy the entire hotel. So after what happened at the Desert Inn in Las Vegas, people took Howard Hughes fairly seriously because he obviously could afford to buy the entire hotel. So on an early, rainy March 14th morning, 1972, Howard Hughes walks in quietly with his entourage and comes to the very top floor of the 20th and goes into his suite. He actually took up room 2090 and two adjoining rooms. And him and his entourage lived on the, loft, the, the top two floors. I'm actually on the 19th floor, just below his suite, and this suite would have been used by one of his entourage. Now, nobody ever saw Howard Hughes come or go. And he lived in this hotel, never to leave, for an entire six months. Howard Hughes was busy avoiding the tax authorities, bouncing around, keeping out of the United States jurisdiction. So, of course, naturally he came here to Vancouver. Now the views in this hotel are fabulous. There's obviously a reason why Howard picked this place. It's got a great, amazing view of downtown Coal Harbor, famous Stanley Park. It's a nice place to survey the world and just relax. And obviously Howard enjoyed it. Well, uh, after six months, because Howard did not want to ever have to pay taxes even to Canadian authorities, he quietly left. And he went down to Acapulco and lived in Mexico, which was his last home. And of course, he died in his aircraft coming back to Houston back in uh, 1976. So this hotel was actually Howard Hughes's second last home. Interestingly enough, Vancouver, a little piece of Vancouver history. If you're ever in Vancouver uh, and you can afford it, it's uh, even this suite here is $300 a night. So um, if you can afford Howard's uh, suite, I think it runs up to $2,500 during peak season. So if you're ever in Vancouver, come to the Bayshore Hotel, a little piece of history. Tell them Howard Hughes sent you. So this is the view that Howard Hughes would have had right behind you. 